hello everybody. Today I am sharing how I have decorated my Christmas tree for this season. I had it decorated in the farmhouse rustic red and plaid checkered style for many many years and so I have changed it up this year using some ornaments that I already had and quite a few products from Amazon and the Dollar Tree. So it is an affordable tree to decorate, but yet I love the classic cottage look and feel that it goes with my home. So of course, when you put up a tree, you have to plot out your space. And we live in a 950 square foot home, so our space is super limited. And so yes, we have a little stand here. I have a baby swing right here. So our tree is in the corner. It fits better on this side of our home compared to our living room area, just because it is a little more open. I don't like to have a lot of items lining the walls. So our seven foot tall tree, is right there and we got this tree a couple years ago from Walmart after the season so it was a very affordable tree at being about $30 um, so then I purchased some lights and we used some from last year of course so whenever you test lights they somehow seem to go out while they're in storage so I had to go get a few more strands I have five strands of a hundred soft white lights on there and honestly to me I could use a few more I love the lights and then it was time to add the decorations. So for my decorations, I used mainly plastic ornaments with having a toddler and a six month old. And then I did use some glass ones that are given to me by my mom each year. And then I used some wooden beads, some white berry inserts from Amazon. The beads are from Walmart, but they're similar ones on Amazon. And I also used some hem garland that I created last year to go on our tree. So with this tree, the ornaments are pretty minimal. I don't have a lot on there, but I really try to stagger out the sizes, the colors, the patterns. I also try to tuck a few into the back a little bit to give it some dimension. So some of my bigger ones I found thrifted, I tucked into the back and some of my smaller ones are up front a little bit more. And then my glass ones, of course, with having a two year old and a six month old, I put up a little bit higher. Um, and I just love the glistening of all of these glitter and silver and gold colors and the glass ones. After I purchased the wood garland, I realized I would have preferred three strands, but I have two right now on there, and that's what I'm gonna stick with for this year. If I continue this theme next year, which I probably will, because I like to reuse my decor for multiple years, I will probably purchase another wood bead strand. And I just love that neutral simplicity of it. And um, Walmart is where I got them, but Amazon has some decent ones. Hobby Lobby has some decent ones. When I looked online uh, most recently, they were out of stock, but also put a similar one in the description box if you're interested. And then I felt like it needed just a little bit more after I had the ornaments on and the wood bead garland. Oh, and after my hem garland was put on, I said that was a DIY from last year. I just used a strand of twine and then cut my um, music hems that I had thrifted, like I said, into like a banner shape and strung those on there. You could do more, you could do less, but um, I kind of like it more minimal this year, like I said. But it still felt like it needed a little bit more um, something in there to fill in some of those gaps. So that's where I got the berry little stems and I think they were 14 for $12 or something like that and I wanted the neutral the white and of course they have a little bit of glitter so I really think that helps pull the tree all together it just sparkles at night it is such a beautiful scene and my little six month old loves swinging next to it like many of you said watching my decorating video yes she does enjoy turning her head and watching the lights in the evenings or during the day um, and seeing that sparkle. I also wanted to mention my tree skirt are some sheer curtains I got off Facebook Marketplace because I bought some other curtains and she just included it. So there's just some white sheer curtains and so that's something you can use. You could use curtains, you could use sheets, you could use just some material you, you found at Hobby Lobby or a thrift store. So it doesn't have to be an actual tree skirt. But I wanted to share this tree with you because 
it was fun to decorate, it was affordable, and it's something that I think you guys could do if you like this style. But of course, make your home beautiful to what you enjoy. So that's my Christmas tree for you. Um, love you guys, and I'll talk with you in my next one. Thank you.